Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be talking about the Warcraft movie, specifically the posters and a few other little things about it. Uh, yeah, this is a little bit of a petty video. I don't like to do things which are purely negatives. Um, I think this day is actually a holiday for loads of people, so I don't want to rain in in your day with loads of negative vibes or anything, but holy shit, have you seen the Warcraft movie posters? They are... Well, they're, they're quite something. And I suppose the reason why I bring this up is that Warcraft is a little bit, you know, it's out of left field for people who are just a general cinema-going audience. So I think their first impressions of what this whole thing is is actually something that's really important. And that means that perhaps more so than something else, it needs to have a good poster, good trailer, good TV spots. So they've been posting these hyper stylized alternate poster things. Now, the first one that came up is one of Travis Fimmel holding a sword, just as war is not the only option. Warcraft. I just want to point it out there that if your movie's called Warcraft and the tagline in this poster is war is not the only option, I'm not particularly sure how, well, just on message you are. It's also got this strange filter on it. I mean, come on, was this made by some sort of, I don't know, teen with a few filters and Photoshop? They've just dragged on this generic font. And that actually brings me on to the more recent wave of them, starting off with the Legend Stand Together one. So this is using a font which, and you know, this is, a lot of this video spurred off just discussions with people on social media, which honestly, they've all been pretty much people saying the same thing. This looks like a science fiction font. This is a movie that I think that the mixed messages of this advertising is something that's going to confuse people a little bit. Now, if you look at this, legends stand together in a science fiction font. For some reason, Warcraft's randomly in red, the other stuff's randomly in blue. You know, I mean, Alliance Horde, but for a general audience, this just looks a little bit confusing, strange, and they're selling it like it's a science fiction movie with that font. Additionally, if you look at the two characters composited in here, they're not even looking at each other. Now, I didn't notice this, but I think it just shows how quickly this thing must have been thrown together, perhaps by an intern or something. Look at Duratan's eyes. Look at Travis Fimmel's eyes. Um, Travis is just staring at his big old tusks, and Duratan's pretty much uh, staring at his nose. It's like, come on, you're, if you're compositing a poster, guys, at least have the characters pointing and actually looking at each other. So that's a little bit strange. Overall, a very wonky poster. We move on to the other one, Unite or Perish. Okay, fair enough. I mean, generic cliche. Look at the photo of Ogrim. He just looks so sad. I feel I feel bad for him. You know, he's not saying unite or perish in a badass fashion. He's saying, you know, unite or perish. Look at me, I'm perishing. I'm so sad. I, I don't know how this is um, particularly, you know, strong or on message or anything like that for the movie. And then I think perhaps the most egregious one is this one of Garona, which just says torn between two worlds with her. I mean, they, they've chosen a frame. She's just put, like, she's pulling a face from Fifty Shades of Grey here. And funny enough, Heel vs. Babyface did throw out a, uh, a fun little Photoshop of what a Fifty Shades-esque uh, version of this poster might look like. Took him about 10 minutes. Seems like it's about as long as it took, uh, as it took these guys to throw their poster together. And I know a lot of this does seem a bit petty, a bit strange, but the reason I bring it up is because... This is a franchise that I assume the the whole everyone watching this video, me making it, of course, we all sort of give a, it's coming out, it's going to be great. And then they see these posters and think, bloody hell, what, what is Michael on about? This looks weird. It's it's a very bit. First of all, I mean, yeah, it's a bit of a generic format, but kind of trying to rip off the uh, the one from from Star Wars, which is a little bit strange. Interestingly, though, Lane Rin is on the red side of the poster, indicating that he is perhaps a bit of a bad guy. We've got that. You know, we've sort of got that idea from some of their marketing, so there we go. Maybe a little bit of an evil lane. Now, there was an original version of this which sucked. It looks terrible. Loads of people pointed out there's loads of inaccuracies. Garona, they just changed the color of her skin so she was no longer green, which is a little bit strange. They've then reverted that to another version of it, which is what I like to call the paintball version. So it looks like, uh, you know, your, your boy Travis and Duratan, they've just been out... Uh, Travis Fimmel, by the way, actor playing uh, playing Lothar. Um, they just, they've been out paintballing, and wow, what a savage game of paintball, because they are both absolutely drenched, as is the rest of the poster. A little bit strange looking, but you know what? It's grand, I'm okay with it, whatever it'll do. Now, we actually do move on to some of the TV spots, and I guess this is a, either Khadgar or Medivh, not 100% sure, um, casting a spell. And wow, <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll throw the, the freeze frame up for you, but there's a, there, you know, the special effects are, they're sadly, they're really not coming together for this scene. I mean, I, I, I was in the office at the time and I just was like, hey, hey guys, hey, hey, everyone, look at this. 
and um, there was just giggles com coming out of everybody because, I mean, I, I don't even know what to say. I think one thing, if you're ever doing special effects, stay away from glowing eyes. They look so cheesy when they're on people. So yeah, that really did throw me off about the CG. Now, if you've ever heard me talk about this movie, you'll, you'll know that I think, you know, CG can be. I said one super important thing to point out is compositing is actually often the last stage of visual effects work that ends up getting done. If you're not really aware of, of what compositing is, that's kind of like getting all the atmosphere layers in, getting it so that it all looks like it's in the same scene. Now, trailer footage is often, you know, it often gets out there before uh, some of the compositing work is done. So I, I do think this stuff will probably look better when it comes to the actual film, but I thought I'd point that out. Um, you know, some good action shots and stuff like that. I really like how Travis Fimmel always looks like, and it's like this in Vikings too, and I really do like him as an actor, especially in, in Vikings, but it, you know, it looks like the guy's been on something, right? Like, he's been sort of message that's going to give out to people, and if they do continue along this course of having these sort of really stylized, almost science fiction looking, posters for the movie that that's actually going to turn people off which obviously isn't what we want to ha ha to have happen if we want world of warcraft to do well we probably want the movie to you only see advertising come out really you know pretty close to the movies uh, to the movie's launch so i know I i'm still i'm hopeful for the quality of the movie itself as i've said loads of times duncan jones is uh, one of my favorite directors moon is one of my favorite movies of all time he's brilliant he totally like nails nuance and things like that and the likes of moon so I think he can bring a lot to the Warcraft project, and I think it could be a really good film. I'm just worried that they'll cock up the advertising and uh, missell the movie, because, you know, hearing what Duncan has said, and obviously he, he could just mess up and not get some of these things right in the film, but it seems like it's a movie that while it does have all of its big action set pieces and all of that stuff, um, it does also have a little bit of heart to it and some nuance and little things like that. And as much as trailers aren't always designed to sell nuance, I would worry that they would market this movie in such a way that people think, oh, this is just a stupid popcorn flick. And yeah, sure, I'm sh like, I think Warcraft will be both a really good popcorn movie and a good movie with, you know, depth and all of that stuff in it. But I'm just worried they're misselling it from uh, from what well, some of this stuff has, has shown. It just seems like there's intern levels of um, or intern levels of effort going into some of this stuff which is a little bit unfortunate. That said, let's end this video on a positive note. And this is really collating just stuff that um, has been posted by Duncan Jones, actually a lot of it on Twitter, over the last while, and that's actually of some of the sets. And this somewhat allays a lot of concerns about how the movie was filmed. A lot of people thought, this, you know, this is like Star Wars Episode Three all over again, where, you know, it's, it's just a bunch of guys in pajamas uh, filming on a blue screen or a green screen, whatever. Um, no, it, they really do seem to have built a lot of sets out. There was some really cool stuff of Stormwind, which I thought was extremely cool to see actually in person. Wouldn't mind touring that, but, uh, you know, I suppose it's probably all been taken down at this stage. So, yeah, lots of cool stuff from the sets, and it's definitely great to see that there's that physical element to the movie. Also, I forgot to mention this earlier, we got our first look at a dwarf. The dwarf looks great. More importantly, that says we're in Ironforge, right? Or at least the Dwarven District of, of Stormwind. But it does look like Ironforge. You've got like a pot of like molten lava-y stuff over to the bottom right, or to the top right of, of the frame that I'm thinking about. Overall, really cool. I like the idea of there being a dwarf and... Uh, Oh yeah, I've, I've got mixed feelings, it's an open-ended video, but I just wanted to get it out there that, wow, these movie posters are like, oh no, they're real bad, and I hope that, I hope that Universal maybe, I hope they, they take a look at what people are saying about these and think, right, maybe we should change our strategy, maybe we should try to sell, uh, see you next time. This, this is, is not okay, this needs to stop now.